Let's start it here. All right, so here's the big news that I had to wait until this very moment to tell you guys. Uh, many of you know of the game World of Warcraft. I used to play it. I played it for about 10 years. I led uh, three server first. They were in Wrath of the Lich King and one of them was in Cataclysm. Uh, I've done hardcore in-game rating stuff like that. I have not played it in a few years. They, uh, on Tuesday of this week, they launched a new game mode in the game. Like it doesn't even use your normal character called Plunderstorm. Now Plunderstorm is their take on Battle Royale. Now I have never been much for Battle Royales, but I am someone who has enjoyed World of Warcraft for like 10 years of my life. This is the trailer for that. So I want to start by showing you this. Ahoy there! Hope you're ready! And it's on 2x speed because I'm a weirdo. I'm going to slow this down for you, uh, mortals. For a bit of plundering fun. All hands on deck! Time to see what ye sea dogs are made of! That's how you revive people, you throw heal at them. There be treasure awaiting. Oh, ho, ho. <gasps> What's wrong with this picture? Thunder and adventures about to begin. Okay, so I don't know what's going on with the van today. But that's not related. All right, so World of Warcraft. They have opened a game mode called Plunderstorm. It is open to anyone who has an active subscription to WoW. It does not require the most recent expansions. I didn't play the last few expansions. Um, they uh, are going to be giving out uh, game time during the event, uh, stuff like that. And they are showing off Plunderstorm. Now, how are they showing off Plunderstorm? What does this have to do with me? Um, they have invited 60 content creators to what is called the Creator Royale. And I've been invited. And the Creator Royale has got a very, very massive prize pool. And uh, this, I haven't seen this video. I don't know what's going on with this one. So hold on, let me see what this is. Okay, I wasn't sure if I could say that. I'm playing for $50,000. Note, I want to clarify that. They didn't pay me $50,000. They have given me a chance to earn that. I am sponsored to play it, all right? I am paying my bills doing this, but the prize pool, if I win, is 50K. It always showed it for a second. <laughs> right there. So I am being teamed up with another streamer named Fairlight. And I've talked to him a bit. Uh, he is, his audience is a lot larger than mine. But he's never played WoW before. Or I think he said he's hardly played WoW. So I might be trying to teach him as much as I can leading into it. But he's like, he's like, I'm going to be grinding all week. I'm going to try to improve as much as I can. Dude, Crendor's in it. Asmongold's in it. All right, so that's the people that are in it. Uh, once again, let's see. Okay, let's just take it from the top here. 
Uh, proud to present the Plunderstorm ba uh, Creator Royale, a new tournament that will take place in Plunderstorm duos. So there'll be 60 people. That's 30 teams of two. The mayhem of 60 of your favorite content creators competing head-to-head. -head. This special event will unfold live on Twitch and YouTube March 30th. That is a week from Saturday, starting at 10 a.m. PDT, 5 p.m. GMT. All participants will be streaming live action on Twitch. Support your favorite creator on their channel. Uh, event format. The Creator Royale is a single-day event featuring 60 popular streamers competing against one another in Plunderstorm duos. Points are awarded based on match placements and eliminations. So, real quick, so like 60 people go in, the first one that dies is in 60th place. So 60th is worst place and first is, for, uh, is best. Um, uh, da, 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 the top of the leaderboard, let's see, after five matches have been played, duos at the top of the leaderboard will be eligible to win the whole competition if they place first in the next match. A free-for-all match will occur if there's no winner by match 8. Whichever team wins takes home the title of Plunderstorm Champion and the lion's share of 50 grand. So most of the 50 grand goes to the top team, but there is prizes for a few slots below that as well. Uh, so 60 streamers paired up, matches 1 through 8, points acquired based on placements and number of eliminations. Uh, match 6 plus, if one of your top teams plays, they win the fight. So number of eliminations... It's really easy in Battle Royale games to get into, like, the top 10 people by hiding. I think they don't want that. So they're trying to encourage us to murder each other. <laughs> if no winner by match 8, free for all where any team that places number 1 wins the event. Who's playing? Introducing the players and hosts for the Plunderstorm Creator Royale. The event will be broadcasted live from Blizzard HQ in Irvine, California, with players worldwide streaming their perspectives. And here we go. Host, Goldaboy, SOE, s -Fand. Uh, it's going to be on March 30th. It's got Disguised Toast, Shifter, Maxim, Trill, Zeppla, Asmongold, Shy Lily, Boska, Nobel, Preach, Kenny Stream, Lappy, Ponce, Luxia, Zaryu, Peekaboo, IRL, Stoops, Saint One, Dorky, Growl, Zik, O, F, T, W, Venruki, Barn, uh, Barney64, Uber Danger, Annie Fusha, Guzu, MRGM, Scribe, Masayoshi, Sideon, Bajira, Mr. Gibbon, Muckluck, Fairlight, Fandy, Jimmy here, Sony, Savix, Demi, Kenji, Pashero, Snoots, Team, Alter Time, Nagura, Cruella DK, Nixium, Crendor, Towelly, Snow Mixy, Sarthi, Desi Heat, Markstrom, Katie, Swag, Dracula, Elohime, Grayson, Flop, Marcion, and Online. Uh, so it's, dude, this is crazy to me. Before I ever became a content creator, I, I've been subscribed to Uber Danger and Crendor <laughs> since before that. A lot of these names I know, like Asmongold, uh, Shy Lily, Disguised Toe, stuff like that. I have no idea why I'm here. <laughs> I have no idea why I'm in here. Uh, and then there's links to all of us, all our stuff. Uh, there's me right there with Fairlight. Uh, Fairlight, again, I uh, was not familiar with him before. I checked out his channel, talked to him very briefly. We, uh, we're going to be practicing to, uh, tomorrow night. Now, I'm going to be doing a lot of solo practicing. And uh, I've been keeping this on the other screen. This is my best so far. Uh, in solos, I've managed to get uh, second place uh, on one of my attempts. I got third place on another. I am grinding. I have been making efforts. I have set, I set my battle net to uh, invisible mode, and I have been doing a few hours of grinding each night for the past few days. Uh, so I am putting in effort to try to make this as uh, successful as possible for me. Uh, I don't want to make have any regrets. Yeah, I got two goals, chat. I got two goals. One is don't be the first guy out. <laughs> I do not, because the thing is, they've got people in there that have been playing WoW for ages, right? Asmongold, Towelly, Krendor. I haven't played it in years. I do not want to go in there and they're like, oh yeah, this, this old guy, he's just here just to feed the, uh, you know, the, the title cards, you know? So I want to go in there. I want to kick a little bit of butt if I can. But I am going to try to go for the win as hard as I can. Does it play like WoW? Well, why don't I freaking show you? So my account, uh, which again, I hadn't played in years. Some of these people had never played WoW, right? So all of us were given game time for this. Uh, so we are going to log into WoW for the first time in ages here to activate Plunger Serve. Really quickly, this is my boy. This is the guy, the tanked, server first Lich King. Server first 10 man heroic Lich King. And in Cataclysm, server first uh, Nefarian and Anixia battles. This was, this is the boy, this is him. That's him. 
I got a few other guys here. These are all alts. Uh, oh, by the way, this uh, this hunter, his pet, his name is Deadwig. <laughs> uh, monk for when I had to play one. Uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, just crazy characters here. But yeah, this, this was the main man. Now, let's talk about the reason we're all here. Plunderstorm. So the way this works is you click up here. It doesn't even use your same characters, okay? You can customize it. You can make your character look like whatever you look you want it to look like. Uh, anything is available, including, like, I haven't unlocked Mechanome. I didn't play when Mechanome was uh, released, um, but I can play that if I want to. Um, male or female, any of these races, except the, um, the new dragon people. Now, I'm going to jump into a solo game right now and try to show you guys how this works, because I'm going to be practicing this a lot for the next week. Because a week from Saturday... I am going to be playing up to eight matches of this back-to-back -to, -back to try to get $50,000. So, you jump in here. This is the prep area. Once there's 60 people in here, it does a countdown. And when it finishes counting down, we're thrown into the battle. You only have, you have, um, you don't have an auto attack. You have a button that you spam and it attacks in front of you. So you click that repeatedly to hit people in front of you. You have a heal. It has a 30 second cooldown. You can find treasure chest inside them. There is XP, plunder, which is just kind of loot, and sometimes abilities. All right, so it drops you in, puts you on a parrot. If you dive bomb, you can instantly kill something you land on as long as it's not a player. Okay, so this guy just tried to steal that item. So I have one skill now, which I picked up. So I have a slight advantage against this guy. That mob is casting Consecrate. I'm gonna use my heal. Okay, I got another ability. This one is a chain. Okay, that's two players fighting over there. Uh, oh, 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 I just saw an ability over here. I want that. That's a re that's one of the most powerful ones, actually. Use my heal. All right, chain, pull myself in. Fire tornado. Alright, that's a kill. That's one player down. I could pick up her holy shield. Um, do I want it? Uh, I'll swap it out for the slicing wind. Yes, you can level up to level 10. There's actually creeps on this map too that were inspired by Warcraft 3. So you can fight other players or you can creep or do a combination. Okay, we're gonna grab this. Now, one thing I'm feeling weak on right now is I don't have much of a movement skill. All right, uh, there's a big chest there. Now, the five skill is a consumable. If you use that, it's gone and you've gotta find something else to put there. Uh, that is candidates. Target your position with a barrage of cannon. Oh, that calls down cannon fire. That's like Gangplank from League of Legends. All right, what is that? That's Slicing Winds. I dropped that. Who replaced Muck? What's up, Banana? Okay, let's check this one. All right, so the storm is shrinking. Now, each match of this is um, quite quick. They're like 10 to 15 minutes per game. Um, don't think I, oh, actually. Oh, someone just shot me. We both have the same move. There's somebody else here. I'm gonna back away. Using my heal. Woody on cooldowns. 
I could engage, fight them, or just leave. I'm gonna take a risk here. This is a very high damage, but close range ability. I'm gonna use my barrel to get out of here. He is winning this fight. So this is my consumable. I'm using it to try and leave. Uh, he used his also there. The move he just used blocks all damage for a moment. Now, he has a ranged attack. I don't. So he might be able to just chase me and poke me down. Yeah, he got me. So 31st on that one. So in that exchange, he had an ability that was... Uh, there's one skill that you don't have to aim. There's one single ranged skill in the match. Uh, by the way, you don't have to stay and watch the whole thing. You can just leave and start again. There's a ranged skill that is, shoots that little bolt. So it's like a tiny frost bolt that will guaranteed hit unless they like duck behind uh, at line of sight. Um, all, it does the least amount of damage, but it forces an enemy to engage you unless they've got a lot of movement skills. What was the funny thing in the meeting you couldn't tell us on Monday? Oh, uh, so while I was getting briefed on how to how this was going to work, um, I was in the meeting, and I didn't realize my camera was like this. And I was like, oh, very interesting. Mm -hmm. I had a freaking competing MMO poster behind me the entire meeting. And I thought that was kind of funny when I realized that at the end of it. That's it. But I couldn't I couldn't explain that to you until uh, until I get you know, until you knew it was World of Warcraft. Don't die. This is the bolt that does a little bit of damage, but almost guaranteed. She's casting consecrate. I'm just gonna take the damage to kill her faster. Uh, bear traps. my minimap. Now, once we get to day of, I'm going to be covering my minimap. But the minimap, you notice there's like little uh, pluses. The gray ones are like special enemies that were killed. The gold ones are ones that are still alive. So picking those off can give you some good stuff. Now, one thing is I'm actually in a very... Oh, everyone has double jump, by the way. And there's no fall damage in here. this kit, but it's what I have right now. Alright, the storm is going to shrink in four seconds, and I'm in the area that will get cooked, so I gotta move. Is it tab targeting or more action cam? Um, it's a combination. If there's only one target in front of you, it'll auto-lock onto that target. Like, see? There's my target right there. But, for example, like, if I want to fire this, that's action cam.
Okay, picking up the same ability additional times levels it up and makes it stronger. You can attack on no target also? Yes. Um, hmm. Lightning Bulwark blocks an attack. Let's see. Do I want to pick that up? No, I think I'm going to keep, keep what I've got right now. Uh, treasure chest. Also, you can uh, sometimes loot a fake treasure chest as a bomb. Oh, speaking of. There we go. All right, so if somebody else tries to open that, it's going to blow up on their, fa on their face. I'm in... Now, the, the area that the storm centers on changes each time. That guy with the motorcycle, uh, the motorcycle is a consumable. If you hop on it, uh, if you get off later, it will despawn. So you can only use it one time. But it also is a two-seater, so if you're in duos, uh, you're, both of you and your teammate can use it at the same time. That explosive caltrops. Um, I don't want that. I don't know if I want that. I'll take it. I hope that's the right choice. Mm, no, I'm gonna keep the barrel. Storm is shrinking. Mana sphere that would level up an ability I already have. Manosphere is stronger now. Ah, oh. juked by a tarantula. What is that? The traps? No, leave it. The snowman freezes the entire area around you, which can be useful, but if they have an answer to that, the barrel would is, be, is better. It depends. See, also we're level 6, we can see that right there on my nameplate. Oh, I can use a barrel, roll toward a different one, and pick that one up as we get closer. So oh, I still have a barrel. Uh, oh, I'm in the storm. Not good. Use my heal. Uh, 20 people remaining at the moment. There's a few of them over there. alone. Of dead players over there. I wanted the barrel. There we go. Hmm. 
Epic Holy Shield, Mana Sphere. All right, I'm gonna try that. That Snowdrift is a good ability, but right now I've got two movement skills. I'm gonna try to use double movement and see how it goes for me. This, I don't think I've gotten any kills on this one. That's an escape move called Fae Form. Makes you very resistant to damage for a few seconds. Got a max level uh, mana bolt. He's got the storm coming toward him. He has to come toward me. Ah, oh, dang. I was invisible too. He didn't even see me there. Killed him. Better get moving. Storm's coming. I need to talk. I don't have a target. I just realized that I sw I uh, meant to drop a different ability when I picked up Fae Form. I dropped the wrong one. I've still got an okay build, but that's not great. Hi, Chip. gotten any experience in the last few minutes. Not happy about that. What? It went under him. 